Hey everyone, my name is Leah, and I am one of the new vloggers on this channel. I am so excited, and also I'm very sorry I didn't get my video out yesterday. But unlike yesterday, I will be posting videos every Friday, so um, watch for that, as well as everyone else's. Um, <clears throat> so this week, our topic is memory lane in regards to the relationship in general and any stories like regarding transitioning and such. So, I don't know, this is a good first video, I think, um, to start off my little, my little journey on <laughs> FDM Sweethearts the YouTube channel. Um, but I guess I can start off this topic by just giving a rundown on me and Ruben's relationship. Um, so, a little walk down memory lane. Um, me and Ruben met, um, back in February of this year. Um, we met at a party, and I would have never met him if I wasn't given the opportunity to study abroad in England last semester. So, thanks to that, um, I met so many fabulous people, and um, the person that I knew, um, during a party, and Ruben was mutual friend, walked through the door, we both looked at each other, and we just knew something was gonna happen. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I told him before, when I first met him, <clears throat> I wasn't sure how to address him. I didn't know what pronouns to use, and it's really cool because this was before, um, this was before he went on hormones or anything. So, <laughs> I like, I like telling that story. I think it's really cool. But, um, yeah, we hit it off and, um, started dating. And it's just been, it just felt like everything fell into place. Like, like we were both walking to, in the same direction. <laughs> like, when we, when we met each other, it was just like we met and now we're just happy-go-lucky. But, um, yeah, so, um... About a month, a month later, I think, um, he started hormones, so I've been with him, um, since day one of his first shot, so I have seen, um, his, him transition pretty much every day, <laughs> and I've seen those changes, and they're incredible, so, um, he's been four months now on tea, and, um, it's kind of cool when he celebrates his when we celebrate his day on tea. We also celebrate another month together because it's the same day. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> since day one of his transitioning to now, um, we have seen like the whole shebang. <laughs> um, the changes have been really rapid and they'd be really awesome. Um, he he does take videos. Um, tries to do it monthly, um, but we compared the first one to the last one we did, and I forgot how much his voice has changed, um, you know, just because, like, you're, I'm with him every single day, except for now, because I'm back in America, we'll get to that later, um, but we compared the videos, and, whoa, <laughs> his voice has changed so much, it's so cool, it's really low, and, um, it's great, you can like feel it, like we suspect that it's coming from like like some like his like the base of his chest or something, like it, it vibrates almost, it's so low. It's really cool. And um every day when we woke up I'd have to he'd make me feel his arms and how big they were getting. And they're really big, he's really strong and muscly, and <clears throat> since day one they've just been like we noticed they were like they were huge, like at the very start. And now that um, a couple months have gone by, they're starting to shape up, and he's toning up a bit, but he's still as strong. They're still as hard, but they're just, like, taking shape now. Um, we've also noticed his facial hair coming in. He'd make me touch that as well. Like, um, <clears throat> his sideburns coming in, like, you'd see the little stubbles, um, all that magical stuff. He has his chin hairs. He shaves, like, a lot, constantly, because they just keep growing. Um... 
just recently, his snail trail came in. Um, and then also his leg hair, like, there's not, like, a bare patch of skin on his legs. It is proper man hair down there. <laughs> um, his body has straightened up, like, it's much boxier. Um, we've noticed, like, a reduction in his breasts and in his breast size, and um, his face is much narrower um, because of the hairline receding and everything. And he's just getting, like, slimmer in general, I feel like. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there were, like, a couple things that freaked me out. Like, um, people would talk about how there would be lots of mood swings and personality changes. And, um, that I wouldn't recognize him. So I... I was afraid of that, but it hasn't been that bad. Maybe, I guess it just differs with everyone. So, um, yeah, um, I mean, there were, he did get, like, a little weird sometimes. He got a little crazy. He got hyper, if anything. He got so hyper. And <laughs> whenever we would watch Glee, we are huge Gleeks, <laughs> um, we just get so emotional, or he, he would. Like, if a really good song was on, he'd just go, <laughs> go insane. But, um, other than that, like, um, it's just been, it's just been a really, really great experience. I'm, I'm just so happy that I've been able to be with him, um, during his, his journey. <laughs> but, yeah, to get back to the whole America, England thing. I unfortunately had to leave um, late last June, so literally like a week ago, I was in Brighton. <laughs> Shame. But um, yeah, I had to leave. I had to come back home. And, um, you know, since we've been really good together, we didn't want to end it. And so we're, we're still together, and we're going to make it work. And hopefully he'll be here in December, so um, maybe by then you guys can can meet him. We'll make a video. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, long distance relationship. My parents did it. They were they like met in the Philippines. They were pen pals for two years, and this was long before Skype and everything. And now they've been married for thirty three years. So <laughs> just saying, it's gonna work. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess that's, like, mostly what I wanted to talk about. Our relationship is so young compared to most of the sweethearts, I feel like. Um, so, yeah. I'll keep you guys updated, and like I said, I will try my hardest to get videos out on Friday. Not, like, Saturday slash Sunday slash late. <laughs> but I hope you guys had a good 4th fourth, fourth of July weekend, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.